B.B. Landers. Actually, I want to make a comment. This week is actually our week for teachers. So if any of y'all was teachers, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I got a couple of shout outs to Amy Fugate, uh, Mike Fernandez, and uh, Emily Rowe. They did a, made a, a huge impact on me in high school. So I appreciate them. And I appreciate y'all. All right, now we can start. What's up? Who was the first one? Gabe Wayne. Amy Fugate. Amy Fugate. Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right, front row left. Lori? Um, maybe talking about the personal statements you've made, you also came out earlier this year talking about the importance of mental health. I'm wondering what kind of feedback you've received since then from fans, teammates, coaches, that sort of thing. Uh, I've gotten a lot of feedback, just, you know, people – showing their appreciation for, you know, me not only stepping up and, you know, using this platform here at Ohio State to speak out about a, a sensitive topic, but, um, you know, I've had a couple opportunities that I'm going to try to capitalize on here soon to just kind of go and, you know, express, um, you know, my story and my journey a little bit more. Uh, so I've had a lot of positive feedback, and I'm interested to see, you know, what I could – do still, you know, kind of pressing and influencing people as far as this topic goes. We're interested in following you along in these opportunities. What, what should we be keeping an eye out for? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out myself. Front row left, Nathan from Cleveland.com. Hey, what's the correlation you're seeing right now between how well this team is stopping the run, maybe especially on early downs, and then the success this team's having on third down? Um, be honest with you, so I was sitting up there kind of listening to uh, Coach speak, and I give a lot of that to the fact that we play a lot of football in practice. We've been playing a lot of football in practice since camp has started. We do a lot of one-on-one, twos-on-twos, and it's one of those things where when you got the best on the best, it it allows you to simulate the game the best that you possibly can. And it's one of those things where once we get to the game, a lot of it is we've seen it, we've done it, we've been through it, we've repped it Lord knows how many times. And um, I feel like we're prepared going into a lot of those situations. If you say you're going ones-on-ones a lot, how does – and I know you don't get to, you know, go live probably hitting, especially the quarterback. Yeah. Um, but how does going up against Justin making this defense better? It's one of those things where he is a phenomenal football player, both physically and mentally. His IQ level is ridiculous. It's through the roof. And it's one of those things where up front, if we don't do our job, get pressure on him, no, we can't hit him, but we can try to collapse the pocket and make him throw in the tunnel. Uh, you know, give him different looks up front to where he has to make split decisions. And then on the back end, they have to do certain coverages and um, they'll show one thing and do do another. So his elite level, not only physically but mentally, makes us – we have to come prepared and we have to perform on a day-to-day -day basis because if not, he'll pick our defense apart. Front row right, Tim from Letterman Row. Yeah, uh, B.B., as, as you've watched you guys on video, but even when you're out in the mix of it all, how, how well do you think you and Devon are playing – Sometimes, uh, maybe a couple times together, but just, you know, at that no spot, but the, the force y'all are bringing. I mean, what, what's just sort of the uh, attitude when you guys are in the game? Um, the biggest thing for us both um, on what I can speak on Devon's half is we just try to go in the game, play our game, and impact the game the best that we can. Between me, him, and Tommy Togia as well, it's just we both, all three of us have different styles of play and we understand where we fit into the defense. And it's even crazier because we've had pretty good games these past three weeks, but it's so much more we need to improve on. So it's that also helps us not get complacent. He pushes me, I push him, Tommy pushes the both of us, we push Tommy, and then we try to help develop him mentally just because we've been here so much longer just as far as – understanding the game, understanding, you know, different things that you might see in the game. So we all feed off of each other. And I want to say one of the biggest things is we get happier for each other's success more than we do for our own. What is it like being a part of this defense this year to date as opposed to last year when there seemed to be a big scramble going on? <laughs> I mean, just what what is it like feeling-wise after games, et cetera? Um, Honestly, man, it's it's all fun. At the end of the day, each year that I've been here, and I've been here a long time, as you already know, <laughs> each year is it has its own unique aspects. You know what I mean? And 
I don't know. It's just this year, it's, I, we, we're having fun. We're having fun playing together. We're having fun going out to practice, even when it's, it's a grind day, when it's a, when it's a Tuesday or a Wednesday and a Thursday. It's hot. We full pass. We're banging. Ones on ones, twos on twos. And you actually enjoy going through the grind together. You know what I mean? So you just make so many memories, so many unique moments, and I can say just having fun. Maybe I was watching you warm up on Saturday. I think you were the last one out there, but you had Coop helping you. He seems really raring to go. Uh, how, you know, frustrated has he been or supportive has he been the last few weeks as he's trying to get back out there? Coop is Coop. I love Coop. Uh, he's one of the best teammates and one of the best people I've, you know, ever come across. Regardless, our relationship is going to always be solidified no matter when we old and wrinkly or why we enjoying it right now. So... Is there still a sense that you talked about how that defensive line could still get better? I mean, you haven't had Coop. Tyreek's only played, I think, six quarters. Some of that is going to get naturally better just because you get them back. Is that a sense, too, that the best is still ahead of this group? Yeah, but it's, I think the biggest thing for us is the best is still to, still ahead, but the mindset is we still just got a lot of work to do. You know what I mean? Just watching us, just sitting back sometimes, just watching from the sidelines, watching the boys. It's phenomenal. Sometimes I catch myself being a fan, you know what I mean? And then we get to film, and it's like what I'm seeing is special, but it could be a 100 times better. So it makes the grind and the pursuit, you know, fun. Uh, I don't know, man. It's just going to be a fun season to see how it all plays out. All right, Bill from Columbus Dispatch. Phoebe, do you have any idea what you guys are averaging giving up yards per carry this year? I have no clue. Seven. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, and it's crazy because we still got – we could be a lot better. So, I don't know. Our biggest thing, we really don't even worry about the stats too much. Uh, how we look at it is if we just keep developing, keep working on the little things, keep gelling together, not only as, you know, units, but as a defense, as an offense, as a team, it'll be special what we could do later on down the road. Why do you think you've been so good against the run? I mean, obviously, you've got talent, and you've honestly played overmatched teams, but is there something that you guys are doing differently this year? Uh, it goes back to, like I said, we're just playing a lot more ball uh, within practice. You know, in camp, we were just – we'd have a little bit of indie team, team, a little bit of indie team, team, teach, team, team. So I feel like we've played so much football going into the season, which – uh, is one thing that we hadn't done in the past, and I feel like uh, overall it's really prepared us to where we are now, and especially going against our offensive line. It's one of those things where if you don't come bringing your A game every day, one of them's going to put you in the dirt. You know what I mean? Even if you bring your A game, you still might get put in the dirt. And then, you know, the backups, the twos, they compete at a high level as well. So if we're doing scout, if you don't come bringing your A game, they will put you in the dirt. So it's like you have to compete on every level, there is no no point in time in practice where you could just chill. You can calm down. You know, you're getting game reps consistently on a day-to-day -day basis, which is hard to do and sustain a high level of playing. We have time for just a couple more questions. Four for a left, Andy. Uh, yeah. So when a team hits a trick play against you, does it change your approach to that team at all as a defender, or is it just like this one thing happened, let's learn from it and move on? Uh, that's one of those things where you just – you're going to face adversity during the game. Something is going to happen that you did not see on film going into every week. You know what I mean? You can prepare for as much as you can prep for, but you'll never be able to prepare for everything. So it's it's one of those things, and it's, and it's kind of a part of the tradition of, you know, Ohio State is when adversity strikes, rally together, turn the page. On to the next play, make some adjustments, go forward. On the topic of sitting back and watching, do you uh, you watch Alave? Do you find your eyes going, uh, noticing him uh, because he might catch a touchdown, he might block a punt, he might do sell popcorn? I don't. Know. To be honest with you, one thing about Chris in particular, the things that you see him doing the games, he doesn't practice on a day to, on a day to day basis. You know what I mean? So. It's spectacular to watch. It's fun to watch. I enjoy it. Our offense is a show every week. It's, they're a pain in practice Monday through Thursday. So 
it doesn't surprise me that he's performing at the level that he's performing, but it is fun to sit back and just watch it. Stevie, thank you very much. Thanks, Stevie. Appreciate y'all.